What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another mother effing episode of WWE 2K23 Showcase Mode. So, in the last episode, we kicked John Cena's behind up and down the ring as the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, and the game Triple H. Go check that video out. But in today's episode, it looks like we are going to be doing... Um, I don't know what the second match is, obviously, because it, it doesn't show. It only shows the first one. Uh, so today we're going to be playing uh, this match, Masterfully Manipulated, Edge versus John Cena from August 20th, 2006. Edge's realization that rules were merely suggestions took him straight to the top. Months of cheating led to this moment. If Edge is disqualified, he loses the WWE Championship. Would John Cena find out? That there's no stipulation beyond Edge's master master level manipulation. That's that that was a question. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, one of the probably one of John Cena's uh, best rivalries, definitely one of Edge's best rivalries. This is the rivalry that really put um, Edge at the top of the card, made him a main eventer, made him shine. Um, famously, he cashed in. The Money in the Bank contract, uh, which I mentioned in a, uh, in I think the first video episode or whatever, that he was the first Mr. Money in the Bank, and he cashed it in on John Cena, um, New Year's Resolution 2006. But uh, yeah, I'm rambling on too much. It's probably gonna explain it in this little video package. So let's get into it. Let's go. I, th I think Edge is the definition of underdog. I don't, I don't think he's matched at all with. with passion and imagination but through that through through giving everything even at a very young age he was told by everybody that like you're only going to make it this far and a lot of that was you're never going to make it i was in the same boat as edge you're never going to make it kid so when you put two of those people together to draw an attraction either you make it or you don't anyone with any foresight to like a crystal ball of wwe is being this is not going to work this will be a one moment thing and that's it. I think Edge and I have had thousands of matches together. <laughs> In almost every capacity, we've done almost everything that could be done. My favorite moment with Edge would be a performance we had in Toronto. And in Toronto, everyone cheered for him. There's a, a wide camera shot of the two of us circling in the ring. And you can audibly hear and read my lips. Edge was bad and got everyone to cheer for him. Do people think it's fair that I have to defend this title against John Cena at SummerSlam? He was and is still always able to kind of morph in and out of these dimensions he's created for himself. This story's going to have a happy ending, but it's going to be for me. I really thought I had Edge cornered. I should have known that only make him more dangerous. Even with the threat of losing the WWE Championship, if he were disqualified, Edge found a way to set me up and cheat his way to another win. I didn't see that coming. All right, you guys, here we go. Another match against with, with two of the greatest of all time, the Rated R Superstar and Edge. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, right off the bat, I'm noticing that the R doesn't have the square. I heard about this. Um, I think it got copyrighted or something, which I don't understand. I don't know who would copyright a freaking letter. But the square is gone, and <laughs> it's kind of weird. But anyways, um, I've never seen this match. Uh, I've never... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Uh, I know that they had a, a TLC match. Of course, the New Year's Resolution match. Oh, here we go. Cena has Edge into the corner. Punching Edge, beating the hell out of Edge. Oh, and a big right hand from Cena. Just beating the hell out of Cena. Right hand again, and another one. The ref telling him to calm down. Cena not budging. Into the ropes. Irish whipped him. Knocks him down. One, two, and a kick out at one. Cena again in the corner. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, and he almost hit the ref. Belly to belly. One, two, and a kick out at two by Edge. Big right hand from Cena. 
And again, another Irish whip into the corner. Oh, and Cena driving his shoulder left. I don't know which shoulder it was, but he, he drove his shoulder into the steel post, landing on the outside. The ref, in, the ref is counting at three. We got Lita on the outside. At the time, Lita and Edge were, I don't know if they were dating in real life, but they were definitely an on-screen couple. So we got a, while I was down, Edge looked, Edge looked to really hurt me with the grounded, okay. There we go. I got a freaking uh, pose on him. So yeah, if you go, if you guys don't know the reason, um, there's a reason why Edge and Leader are an on-screen couple, and I'll, I'll explain it. Uh, so in 2005, um, Jeff, Matt Hardy, I mean. And uh, Lita, they were a couple at the time, and Matt was signed. Was, he was sidelined with an injury, and uh, Lita didn't really have any um, a road partner, meaning like somebody to travel with. She was traveling with Edge, and uh, while they were traveling, they got really close, and it turned into a uh, turned into an affair, I guess. Like a yeah, they they basically uh, became a couple while they were riding. And Matt Hardy found out about this, and he was furious. And this led to him getting fired because he posted... He, he basically ranted online. And uh, WWE didn't like that, and so he got fired. But the WWE thought that they could turn this into an angle, meaning that they could turn... Like, they can turn the real-life... Uh, the real-life stuff into a storyline. And it became one of the hottest things in, uh, in 2005. Led to a lot of great matches... Uh, yeah, that's 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 how they became an on-screen uh, couple, because everybody hated Edge. Um, they all thought Matt, like they all thought Matt was, you know, he di he didn't deserve to get fired, and that made everyone not like uh, Edge and Lita. Oh shit, I'm getting beat up. I'm not even paying attention. I'm too busy talking. All right. Ah, get the fuck off me. Sit your bitch ass down. All right. Pose on him. There we go. That didn't work. Oh, we gotta taunt the crowd. Alright. Come on, Edge. Come on, Edge. Alright, there we go. Oh, fuck. I hit the ref. Got right back to work, hitting me with a single leg drop. Okay. A running leg drop. Okay. There we go. Edge was sticking and moving to the top rope. Okay, diving attack. Hit him with another one. Oh, fuck, he got back up. Sit your bitch ass now. All right. I didn't even get to see what Edge's model looked like. Because normally they, they, they do him pretty dirty. But last year, he actually looked really, uh, really accurate. And it looks like it's the case uh, this year, too. Grounded like grapple. Oh fuck. Ow. Oh fuck, I'm, I'm busted open. Alright. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I thought he was going for his five moves of doom. Ow, Batista bombed my ass. Alright. Come on, get up. Get up. Goodness, oh my goodness. Rolling to the outside. Trying to breathe. Alright. There we go. Reversed it. Get back in the ring. Sit your ass down. Alright. Let's try this again. There we go. Now Cena's down. Edge. Going for a camel clutch. I think that's what the move's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. I always uh, get a bunch of these submissions mixed up, but I'm pretty sure that this is a camel clutch. Crowd cheering Cena on. Let's go, Cena. Cena sucks. You can hear it in the background. <laughs> Fed just waved. Oh. Uh-oh. Cena finding that inner strength. 
Oh, he's on his feet. Carrying Edge, who's like 200 pounds. Oh! Breaks the hold. And look, see, Edge has the... Edge has the square R, like the, the R in the square. I'm, I don't know why they... Uh... Yeah, I, I gotta look that up. I wanna know why they copyrighted that. Oh, ref's counting. Both Cena and Edge are on the ground. Six. I think they changed Lita's shirt too, because it's in the in the footage. It's um like more of her uh, cleavage is showing. Oh, ref counting again. Both men are down two. We got a three. And a four. Neither man has been able to get up so far. Count of five. Oh. Lita bringing a steel chair into the ring. Edge has a steel chair in his hand. Edge saying no. He's going to get disqualified. Cena with a clothesline. Building momentum. Shoulder tackles. And another one. Cena telling him to get up. And he drives him into the ground. Oh, man, Cena getting hyped up. Looking for a five-knuckle shuffle. You Can't See Me by John Cena. Into the five-knuckle shuffle, and he misses. Another one. All right, here we go. Let's hit him with... Education. Three combos in the ring. Okay. Does it have to be any combo? There we go. One. Sit him with the chops. Oh, fuck. Missed. There we go. Boom. Bada bing bam boom. He's stunned. There we go. Three combos. See Edge start to run to the corner to climb the top rope. All right, another top rope spot. We'll just kick him mud, mud stomp. I think that's the phrase. Oh shit! There we go. We'll set him up. The top rope attack. All right, another cinematic. Edge looking to go to the top rope, but Cena senses this. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. We saw this last episode. Oh, Edge was sensing it. Has Cena on his shoulders. Cena with a roll-up. One, two, and a kick out at two by Edge. Cena, meanwhile, sends him into the corner. Edge with a big boot in the corner. Second rope. Crossbody. Oh no. Cena with a counter. Picking Edge up. What a beautiful counter into the position of an FU. Oh! Edge sending Lita. Oh, knocks Lita onto the outside. Cena with a roll up. One, two, and a kick out at two by Edge. Oh, double clothesline. Takes both men out. See what reminded me of? Okay, okay. Taunt. Oh, shit. Go. One. Kick out at one. Right. Able to reverse or break my next attack. Okay. Well, fuck, if Cena will let me get up, I could probably do it. How is it that this dude always gets up? Like, I hit him with some heavy heavy attacks and he always manages to get up he like always gets up all right let's try this come on there we go got a reversal we'll taunt him no 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 another execution okay well luckily i have my uh my signature here Go for another one. Education. All right, here we go. Going for a spear. Edge in the corner. Measuring him up. Oh, Cena reverses. 
STFU. STFU has him in a submission. Edge is trapped. Nowhere to go. The ref asking him if he wants to tap out Lita. Lita, meanwhile, has the championship. I don't know what's going on. Trying to get Edge to cheat. Edge knows he can't. Edge is almost there. He He's barely hanging on, and he gets to the ropes. Ref trying to break Cena out of the submission. Oh, what's this? Lita slipping the brass knuckles on Edge's fingers. The ref never saw it. Oh, wait a minute. Edge was trying to hit him. Cena caught him. Wait a minute, Lita. Oh, wait a minute. Cena picking both Lita and Edge on his shoulders. Attitude adjustment to Lita. Edge, on the other hand, got off. Hits him in the back with the brass knuckles. The ref never saw it. Cena is knocked out unconscious from what it looks like. Edge trying to roll over Cena. One, two, three. Edge retains the WWE Championship. All right, so we unlocked SummerSlam 2006, and we also unlocked Lita, I'm guessing, as a manager or a playable, maybe. But let's get into the next match. Edge, being a single superstar, had the luxury of winning the first ever Money in the Bank briefcase. And the first of something, no one really knows what it is. And no one really knows its value until it's established. So Edge has this briefcase that is supposedly guarantees him a championship match. And precedent had never been set. And then we get to New Year's Revolution and the Elimination Chamber, which is a grueling match, which is a match that I managed to make it through and do okay. Here is your winner, John Cena! And then I hear music. He's been killing me. And then I hear that there's going to be another match. And it's going to happen right now. <laughs> and it's with a fresh edge who cashes in the Money in the Bank briefcase to take the championship from me that I just earned. Not only did it seem unfair, but it was it was more than just a loss. It was a loss of a lot of momentum. There's always something at stake. It's either the championship or you're next in line. So you've just gone through this thing put yourself in tremendous physical harm for a yield for this opportunity. And the next stop is WrestleMania. So behind the chamber, cross your fingers for the rumble, I'm going. WrestleMania's gonna be awesome. So that's what I was thinking. As, as a champion, it sucks. But the important thing about that night is it established what money in the bank means. And that's for the greater good. Whoever has the briefcase, it's now established that they're gonna be the champ. It's just a matter of time. After an experience like this, there's no other choice. I was not gonna let it be that easy for Edge. He'd done well picking his spot, but I'd never let that be the last image that WWE Universe had of John Cena. All right, it looks like this is gonna be an Edge episode, um, similar to the Undertaker episode. All right. I'm about to say, this didn't happen in real life. In real life, he just hit two spears and that was it. But I guess they wanted to make it interesting. Oh, shit. Fuck. 
Nope. There we go. Two heavy combos. Get your ass up. Bro, come on. Stop reversing. Gonna go for the cover. One. Nope. Not even a one. There we go. We got one. Oh shit. Sit your ass down. And there we go. Alright, hit me with a spear and my vision. Alright. Let's hit him with a spear. Let's go to the corner. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on, dude. This motherfucking dude. All right. I can reverse too. All right. There we go. Right, let's hit him with another one. Well, let's attempt to hit him with another one. There we go. Got one. Let's see stuff. Hit him with another spear while he's stunned. There we go. Hit him with a one, two, three, and he's going to kick out. I'm calling it. Look, I already know. Yep. Ah, oh, fuck. Nope. All right. Cool. Took his uh took his finisher away. All right, there we go. Sit him with another spear. Let's end this off right. And that's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. One, two, three. There we go. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar. Damn, I love how the championship looks in this game. I, I didn't even notice it. There we go. Done and done. We've unlocked New Year's Resolution 2006, John Cena 6, Edge 2006, um, Lita 2006. All right, you guys, I'm going to end it off here. Uh, this might be a shorter video than usual, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you guys give it a like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out.